My name is Jackie Olson. I'm a regional vice president for the Americas for AMS OSRAM. So first of all, I'm really excited to be back here. It's been a year and there is a lot more people. We're getting through COVID and uh, it's very exciting to be back at the show. The keynote address to the show this year has to do with sustainability. And that is a key topic for AMS Osram because we're always looking and finding ways to save resources in being able to buy products that are better for this world. So just to give you an example, our horticulture LEDs um, provide actually the right spectrum for a plant to be able to grow better crops in a shorter period of time and with that using less power and less water. So this is one example of a way that we're looking at making products that really drive innovation and to allow to, uh, to conserve uh, resources, world resources. AMS Ostrom is really a special company. We can work with our customers to actually co-develop products that don't exist in the market yet. So it gives us really an edge and an advantage uh, towards many other companies out there in the market. This year, sensors converge. We have almost 30 demonstrations that we have brought, and they are in the areas of medical, industrial, automotive, and consumer products. So we are in all these areas. Some examples I can give, for example, is our TMF8828, which is a multi-zone time of flight device. And it allows actually to be able to detect uh, cliffs and obstacles and presses detection. So you can have multiple objects being detected at once. We also have our 7343, which is a multi-spectrum uh, device that allows to be able to detect different kinds of smoke, for example. So it distinguishes between vapor and another smoke that's, uh, that's more dangerous. Um, another product, for example, is looking at our uh, fruit and be able to, to, uh, to detect with the infrared uh, spectrometry how much water content or sugar content is in that fruit. Um, and that's among the many, many other products, including also UV, uh, where we detect and we actually are able to shine UV light or UVC light and be able to um, uh, kill bacteria. Uh, almost 100% of the bacteria. We have a lot of innovations coming down the road that you'll see in the next few years. If you look, for example, at automotive innovations, you can look at the automotive and the car as being a third living room. So we have innovations on lighting. So uh, for example, dynamic lighting uh, for the outdoor and inside of the car, in cabin sensing, and uh, any kind of other potential sensing to the driver, the occupants uh, that are uh, able to, to really detect what's going on inside the car and being able to, in many cases, protect the people in the car. So you'll see innovations in automotive. You'll see, for example, in the consumer side, a lot of products coming out in the AR VR space. So our near to eye, eye movement detection, um, all of this is coming down in the next few years, as you'll see. Um, on the medical side, for example, you have, um, you'll be able to see some products from AMS Ostrom that are going to allow for diagnostics in the point of care. So you won't be able to go anywhere to get tested. You'll be able to do it in your home and the results would go uh, through the cloud to your doctor. So these are some of the innovations that are going to come down in the next few years.